So the Brown versus Board of Education of Topeka, Kansas um, decision was passed on the 17th of May, 1954, um, in the unanimous vote. And it overturned segregation in public schools based on the fact that segregation was deemed problematic and harmful to, to children's development. And they based it on the Equal Protection Clause and the um, Reconstruction Amendments of a century earlier, or nearly a century earlier. What's interesting about Brown v. Board of Education is that it wasn't about one case. Oliver Brown filed suit in Kansas, but there were, it's one of five cases that actually makes it to the Supreme Court and they're bundled together. And what's interesting is that the Brown case is used as the titular case, not because it's first in the alphabet, because it isn't, but because it's the non-Southern state. The NAACP initially weren't looking for desegregation. They were looking for an enforcement of Plessy, Plessy v. Ferguson, which was a case in 1896 that constituted separate but equal statute that is the cornerstone for Jim Crow and segregation laws throughout the country, but particularly in the South. So the NAACP wanted to show that these schools were definitely separate, but totally unequal. And you saw Southern states trying to equalize the schools and then realizing that the kind of money and time and, and, and commitment to do that wasn't worth it for the, in their eyes. Um, and also the tax base wasn't going to stand for it. You see the NAACP then realizing that, okay, equalization is not going to happen, so we have to just tear down Plessy altogether, and that's what they do. But Brown in itself is not the first case. Before that, in the 1940s and into the 30s, the NAACP had been slowly desegregating professional schools at the graduate level, so by the time Brown came into the court system in 1951, it was very clear that the NAACP had enough precedent to um, encourage the courts to vote in their favor. It also helps that um, the Supreme Court itself, the makeup of the justices on the bench, were more amenable to these um, issues than ever before. And in part, because of this Cold War moment happening, they were very aware of how their decision would play out internationally as well as nationally.